wondered what gets washed into all Adelaide's rivers and creeks after a heavy rain? Wallets, prams, jewellery, coffee cups, just to name a few things. Thankfully, there's a way we can stop all this rubbish polluting our waterways, and there's a lot you can do about that as well. Our waterways are the rivers and creeks and wetlands that run throughout the city and the surrounds. They're very important to both people and the environment. The healthier they are, the greater the benefits. One of the ways we stop rubbish entering the waterways is a trash rack like this. We also collect rubbish with floating booms over waterways and purpose-built sedimentation basins, which collect all the dirt that comes out of the rivers. All of these known as gross pollutant traps, or GPTs. Over the last year, our GPTs have collected the equivalent of two Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of stuff. That's all the rubbish and vegetation and the sticks and the leaves that would otherwise go straight down the river. And the more it rains, the more rubbish washes up. When we reach about 10 mils of rain, we know that the trash racks are going to be overflowing and we have to go in and clear them up. The majority of stuff that washes up in these trash racks are leaves and twigs. We also get a lot of other rubbish, like baby toys, bean bags, gas cylinders, cans, and of course the old coffee cup. If all this leaf litter and rubbish isn't prevented from entering the waterways, it'll pollute our water and make it unsafe for all the plants and animals. It can even cause blockages and anything that happens upstream is going to affect the whole river and the coastline. So these GPTs and trash racks are protecting our precious marine environments and habitats. That means that you'll be able to enjoy the beach more. There's also a lot you can do to help prevent rubbish from entering our waterways. Keep your outdoor surfaces, such as the paved areas, the roofs and the concrete driveways, free of pollutants like fertilisers, pesticides, oil, petrol and dog poo. And make sure you bin your litter so it doesn't make its way into the stormwater in the first place. You can also use water sensitive urban design in your home. For example, you could create a rain garden or choose permeable paving that allows water to soak through on your driveway and footpaths instead of concrete. The next time it rains, spare a thought for what might be getting washed up into our waterways and help us work towards healthier rivers and a greener Adelaide.